Is your game suddenly freezing or stuttering out of nowhere, even when your FPS looks fine? One sneaky cause might be Windows standby memory getting bloated in the background. In today's guide, we're diving deep into ISLC, the Intelligent Standby List Cleaner, and how to configure it the right way. Plus, we'll go beyond just launching ISLC and show you additional registry tweaks, memory fixes, and scheduling tricks to keep your games buttery smooth. If you play competitive or high refresh games, this one's a must watch. Download and install ISLC the right way. ISLC is a lightweight utility developed by Wagnardsoft, the same team behind DDU that helps free up standby memory intelligently without needing to reboot your system. Standby memory can build up in Windows and cause micro-stuttering or slowdowns in RAM-hungry games, especially if you're multitasking or have less than 16 gigabytes of RAM. How to download it safely. Go to the official Wagnard Soft website. Avoid using sketchy third-party mirrors, Reddit links, or Discord uploads. You want a clean, untampered copy of the app. Download the latest version of Intelligent Standby List Cleaner, ISLC. Extract the .zip file to a permanent location, c colon forward slash utilities forward slash ISLC, not your downloads folder. Initial setup. Configure it properly. Right-click ISLC.exe, run as administrator. Once the window opens, apply these settings. Check Start ISLC Minimized and Auto Start Monitoring. Enable Launch ISLC on User Logon so it starts automatically after every boot. Set The list size is greater than Use 1024 MB if you have 8 GB of RAM or 4096 MB if you have 16 GB of RAM. Free memory is lower than Leave it at 1,024 megabytes for most systems or raise it slightly if you have a large amount of RAM. Click Start, then minimize the window. Don't close it. What ISLC does, it monitors your standby memory in real time and only clears it when it exceeds the threshold you set. This keeps your RAM clean and responsive without interfering with other background tasks especially useful for low RAM gaming rigs or when multitasking with browsers, OBS, or Discord. Using RAM Map to Monitor Standby Bloat Even if ISLC is running in the background, it's smart to occasionally check how your RAM is being allocated, especially if you suspect standby memory bloat is still creeping in during long play sessions. That's where RAM Map, a free tool by Microsoft's SysInternals team, comes in. How to use RAM Map effectively. Download RAM Map directly from Microsoft's official SysInternal site. Avoid third party sources. SysInternal's tools are portable and 100% safe when downloaded from Microsoft. Extract and run RAMMAP.exe as administrator. Once the interface opens, click on the Focus on these two columns Standby memory that's cached and ready for reuse but not yet freed, and free, memory that's completely unallocated and ready for use by new processes. What to look for? If the standby column shows four to six gigabytes or more while gaming and free memory drops below 500 megabytes, that's a red flag. This indicates that Windows caching is taking up too much RAM, which can lead to FPS drops, micro stutters, and longer load times. In that case, ISLC is definitely helping by stepping in and freeing standby memory before it causes real slowdowns. Registry tweaks to optimize RAM handling. One, disable paging executive. Force code to stay in RAM. This tweak tells Windows to keep system kernel and driver code in physical memory rather than paging it out to the disk. On systems with 8 GB plus RAM, this improves system responsiveness and reduces unnecessary disk I.O. Registry Path D-Word Name Disable Paging Executive Value is 1 Enabled Why it helps 
prevents system components from being paged out, reducing micro stutters and lag caused by disk reads. 2. Clear page file at shutdown. Optional but useful for privacy. Registry path. D word name. Clear page file at shutdown. Value is 1. Use case. Great for shared systems, privacy focused users, or those who regularly tweak RAM behavior. 3. Large system cache. Keep RAM usage balanced for desktop use. Registry name, large system cache. Value is zero for personal or gaming PCs. Where to check? Same path as above under memory management. Final step, restart to apply. All these tweaks take effect after a system reboot. So once you've applied them, restart your PC. Afterward, you may notice smoother window management, faster alt tabbing in games, and slightly lower idle RAM usage over time. Step 5. Bonus CMD tweaks for latency reduction. If you want to squeeze out every millisecond of latency for smoother input, snappier aiming, and tighter responsiveness, these tweaks can help reduce CPU sleep delays and network buffering behaviors that hold you back in competitive play. Be sure to run command prompt as administrator before executing any commands. 1. Disable Nagel's algorithm for lower network latency. To disable it, open RegEdit. Find the correct subfolder by matching your active network adapter's DHCP IP address to your IP. Use ipconfig in CMD to verify. In that folder, add two new DWORD 32-bit values. TCP ACK Frequency equals 1. TCP No Delay equals 1. This disables buffering and forces immediate packet transmission, improving ping stability in games like CS2, Valorant, and Apex. 2. Use BCD Edit to tune timer behavior. Reboot your system after applying them. Optional, use Timer Tool or ISLC to lock the timer resolution to 0.5 milliseconds for even tighter frame pacing. Then restart your PC. These tweaks slightly reduce CPU sleep delay, which can improve FPS and input response in some cases. And that wraps up our 2025 guide to fixing game stutters and freezes with ISLC. With standby memory now under control, your RAM is doing what it should, powering your gameplay, not hoarding junk. Combine this setup with the bonus tweaks and tools for a truly optimized system. If you found this useful, drop a like, sub for more Hidden Windows tweaks, and let me know in the comments if you want a full RAM map deep dive or process lasso setup next. Until then, keep your frames high and your latency low. Thanks for watching.